Network data sets are increasingly common, and they're often growing. For instance, new users join Facebook and send messages to each other. This adds new vertices and edges to the graph over time. Probabilistic modeling allows us to infer graph properties, like community structure, and quantify uncertainty. However, the efficacy of probabilistic modeling relies on capturing real-life data properties. For one, real-life graph sequences tend to be sparse. That is, the number of edges grows subquadratically with the number of vertices. But many popular probabilistic graph models are misspecified. Their graph sequences are dense with probability 1, that is, the number of edges grows quadratically with the number of vertices. We introduce edge exchangeability, a framework for probabilistic modeling that can produce sparse graphs. It turns out that the problem with these misspecified probabilistic graph models is that they're vertex exchangeable. In a vertex exchangeable graph sequence, a new vertex joins at each step of the sequence. We label it with its step number. That vertex instantiates any edges it will ever have with existing vertices. At step 1, we begin with a single vertex, and at step 2, vertex 2 joins, forming an edge with vertex 1. At step 3, vertex 3 joins and forms no edges with existing vertices. Then, at step 4, vertex 4 joins and forms an edge with 1, 2, and 3, and so on. The random graph sequence is vertex exchangeable if permuting the order of the vertices doesn't change the distribution of the graph sequence. These two graphs are the same except the vertex labels are permuted and under vertex exchangeability they have the same probability. The Aldous-Hoover theorem implies that any vertex exchangeable graph is dense or empty with probability 1. So, vertex exchangeable graph models can never produce sparse graphs and we need something else that can. We propose edge exchangeability instead. In an edge exchangeable graph sequence, a new edge joins at each step of the sequence. We add any new vertices connected to that edge and we label each edge with its step number. For instance, at step 1, we begin with edge 1 and two new vertices. At step 2, a new edge joins, bringing in one new vertex. At step 3, edge 3 joins with two existing vertices. And in step 4, the new edge introduces two new vertices. The random graph sequence is edge exchangeable if permuting the order of the edges doesn't change the distribution of the graph sequence. These two graphs are the same except the edge labels are permuted, and under edge exchangeability they have the same probability. We show that a wide class of edge exchangeable models yields sparse graph sequences, unlike vertex exchangeability where sparse graph sequences are impossible.